Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3 where we are continuing and discovering what's in the bazaar. First of all though, we need a new companion and we're gonna take one of these pigs here. I mean, why not? We have the charm animal skill, might as well take a pig and I wonder what bonus we get out of this here. We get big pig. Extra belly fat never hurts anyone. Constitution plus 30, that is great. Now she has almost 200 hit points, that's... Almost as much as Kodiak has. Uh, also, we have some upgrades to do. So let's go ahead and see what attribute points we're gonna slap on Stormcrow. And then we're gonna take a look at Kodiak as well. So yeah, um, we have coordination maxed out right now. I mean, luck is a thing that a sniper can really make use of. So having the lucky critical chance is something I should really think about. It upgrades by 1% each level. I mean, that's good. But we could also just go for plain damage by just getting her more uh, awareness. Or, and that's the next big thing, uh, she is the one being able to use all the weird science stuff. And some of the armor that we have found, they need higher strength. So giving her a bit more constitution and giving her the ability to actually use that armor is, in my books, a pretty good idea. And we can also go for intelligence to get some more... Critical uh, heal, no, critical hit chance. That goes up quite a lot here. Ooh, and the critical damage multiplier. I mean, nah, we got to. We have to. Let's get intelligence because it also gives us skill points, and I want skill points. I really like them. So, here we go. What do we upgrade? We have eight now. Can either go for toaster repair, which seems like a good idea, actually, or high barter skill because we're gonna... Are we gonna go for both, actually? I wanted to say we will definitely barter a lot in this next upcoming event here. Costs us seven to get there. Getting barter to eight already is pretty good. But you know what? I want to get all the toasters in the world here. Ooh, we could go for toaster repair nine already? Is that a thing I want to do? I wonder. I really wonder if I should do it. One second. Let me quickly abort that. Don't we have a book for that? Nope. Nope. Nope, that's weird science, that's sneaky shit, that's infantry bible, and that is uh, the explosive thing. So yeah, we cannot do it. Oh, man. Yeah, let me go ahead and just go for... I think I want barter, because it's gonna be good, guys. It's gonna be really good. So, now that we got that, we are done with her, which is great. So we're gonna close this. Yes, thank you. And then we're gonna get Kodiak as well. Because Godier can go for some upgrades too. And I mean, he wants either more action points, which he gets now. That's cool. Or more strength. And uh, by the way, yeah, we're going to go with more action points because we can hit more often with that. Also, some more skill points. Let's check it out. Big gun seems good. We could also go for just explosives here. Just getting that to a nice big number. These are mines and traps. With a difficulty of less, uh, 7 or less. Hmm. I mean, we get also some explosive resistance and explosive damage bonus. And he's gonna throw a lot of grenades around on the front line, I think. I'm gonna go with that. Here we go. Cool, cool, cool. So, one perk point is available. We can make him more healthy. That's always a good idea. We can also go hack and slash. Attacking the same target twice in a row with a bladed weapon executes a free bonus attack. I like that. Now that we have a decent bladed weapon, I think I'm gonna go for it. Also, pressure cooker... No... What does that do? Targets directly hit by rockets or grenades are automatic critical hits. That's cool. I think I'm gonna go with the extra attack. That seems like a good idea. So, there was that. We got a new pig friend. We got our upgrades, our level ups. Which means that we're now gonna go up on... Was it? Let me see, let me see. Where's the way up? It's down here. Bizarre interior. Cool. Let's do it, guys. Let's get there. I wanted to see if I can find some more bullets or better weapons or both. Bullets and better weapons. That's, what, that's kind of what I'm looking for right now. It is so important to uh, get weapons that we don't have to shoot that often at our enemies at with anymore. You know what I mean? More damage means less bullet consumption. And that's kind of what we want to do. Also, more damage means more enemies killed faster, which means we are not taking so much return fire, and that's also pretty good. So, let's get up here. And see what we can find here. I'm so excited, guys.
We will definitely take a look around and see what wares are available. We will sell all of our junk, which we have a lot of. And we will probably also get rid of some of the uh, the items here. Our weapons that we have that I don't need anymore. So let's check it out. What's that? Eidolon. Eidolon is the most famous entertainer in all of Colorado and she'll tell you so herself. <laughs> Those are the best. And there we are. Okay. Monster Army Tender. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to take a look around and see where the stores are. Hot noodles. Uh, got noodles. It's a bartender. I don't want to eat or drink right now. Somebody told me they serve lemonade. Oh, no, 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 no. Where would they get lemons? You are a dog? Hey, dog, can you patch me up? That would be great. Why, hello. Name's Hirsch. Love Hirsch. But you can just call me Dr. Cold Cuts. <laughs> what do you need? Could you patch us up, please? Ah, uh, pig. Human. <laughs> Ain't so different. <laughs> Cash first and I'll fix you right up. Yeah, for $25, that's absolutely worth it. Aces. <laughs> this won't hurt a bit. Promise. Cool. Uh, we got some injuries on our people, therefore I wanted to get rid of them. Um, let me take a look at the medical ah, supplies the real quick. self-medicating sort. Sure, take a look. What is that? That's the first aid station, yeah. Ultra morphine. I don't want any of that. I just want to sell my jaw. Nice, 4,000? That seems good, guys. Yeah, and I think I will also sell all of this here. Look at all these rocket launchers and flamethrowers that we have left over. They can just go. That, and that, and that, and that. Come on. Uh, yeah, these can go. I think I'm not gonna use that guy. Damage versus animals is not as interesting as... Oh, actually, tactical helmet. Let me think about it. Maybe we are actually using the Hawk Mask. This is a strength 5 armor. Might want to drop that at some point. So, Nitro Thrower. Hmm. No. Punk Buster can go. Revolver can go. Last call. Do I keep the auto shotgun? I might want to do that. Um, the Waste Rifle is also a keeper, I believe. This is the Rip Cracker. Which is also not that interesting anymore. Yeah, no. Let's get rid of that as well. So I'm gonna keep the rest. Probably the mining mallet as well. Sure. Let's sell it. And now we have 5,000 credits. Cool, cool, cool. Let's keep a look around. Talk you seem like you have some stuff. Gear here. So, a rig of tobacco and tannin surrounds the wise and dark-skinned woman. Without breaking eye contact, she swaps her chewed-down cigarette stub for a fresh one and uh, lights it before she speaks. Ah. You look like tough sorts. Patriarch sent you. Whoever you are, we can certainly use your help. Some kind of beastie down in the Warrens or something. Talk to Flab up the stairs. I'm already That's at it. Oh, we have already I'm done here. it, actually. So you seem like you have a lot of armor upgrades. Oh, yes, you do. Armor mod. Mm hmm. Lots of resistance. That's nice. Sensory Shroud, plus one armor, negative status effect resistance. Uh, that's also armor and status effect, or, you know, special damage resistance. Yeah, you got a lot of good stuff here. That's a plus 5% hit chance and 5 armor. It's good. That's honestly really good. Trooper armor. It's base armor 6 for no strength requirement. Tank helmet. Yep, it's also quite good. The thing requires strength, though. Six of it, to be specific. Okay, okay, okay. So the tank armor would be pretty good for Mr. Kodiak. Um, I think it's not worth it. I'm thinking we can just keep our money together and just invest in ammo and weapons. Which brings I me... I believe we missed the sale maybe of the I told you we needed to get here early. Broken slicer dicer? Holy crap. Um, no, where, where's the weapon in the gunnery store? Uh, I've been here for hours. Chicks flakes. Oh, my feet are killing me. Come Levels on. two and three. No, 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 no. There we go. That seems Guns like my jam. Sanctified with blood. Hi. The woman has scars all over her body, marks that speak of acid, burns, and shrapnel damage. Her eyes are scarred and blind, yet she turns to you as you approach. Hmm. Heartbeats that I don't recognize. Ooh, she's scary. 
Come closer, strangers. The sanctified Piscatelli crafts weapons of all sorts for those in need, and she can read that you are very much in need. Indeed, I am in need. Weapon modding six. Interesting work you're doing here. Could we help with any projects that you've stumped? <gasps> help? Hmm. Oh. Huh. I suppose there is an order I need assistance with. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I can use your help. There is a weapon on the bench just waiting to provide its blessing to the needy. Uh, well, we'll be happy to help. Sure. Let's check it out, guys. Well, what's happening now? Oh, the sanctified Piscitelli leads you to a workbench with an unusual looking pistol on it. You work on it for several hours. Uh, Piscitelli's tools are unusual, emanating a scorching heat that leaves your arms marked by burns. Alright, she nods approvingly at this development. Uh, the pain does not last. And the scars? Those are blessings. They are a record of your dedication, proof you are strong enough to rise above the fears of the flesh, a reward that fits your efforts. Keep the weapon, with my blessings. I wonder what we got now. Now, I want to see what they have for sale because I'm here to upgrade my weapons big time. We have the Emancipator. It's an auto shotgun with decent damage. That's all right. Some madman adapted a shotgun into a pistol format. It delivers the stopping power, but hang on tight. Ooh, that only requires three action points to use, which is pretty cool. Yeah, we have a high base hit chance. Penetration is okay. Hmm. That would be interesting for Lucia, maybe. What else do we get? Incendiary linkage. That converts the damage to fire damage. Ooh, paints normal ammo with napalm-like fluids. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. Mm, but I don't want it. We have some more bolts, which we probably pick up. A tactical freaking nuke. I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. That, why? Modder skit. No, plus one weapon modding, plus one armor modding. It's cool in case we ever want to get some bonuses on that. Maybe I should pick it up. It's not that uh, expensive either. But what we need is ammunition and better guns. So we're gonna first look at what they have and then we're gonna think about it. So... What's our shotgun here? That also only needs three action points. So how is it better than that? It's kind of the same thing. Seriously. It's the absolute same thing. So we don't need to uh, think about the Emancipator here at all. Army revolver, a lead sprayer, submachine gun, using 45 ammo. Is that better? It is not, because we got black already. What's that? Let me sh quickly show the equipment here. What that? So we did 49 to 67 damage. That's definitely better. Okay. That's... Definitely better. Man. Do I want to pick it up? How much money does it cost? 400. Okay. What I do definitely need is better SWAT, uh, better assault rifles, because at the moment we are still running around with that stupid Winter Warrior, and that SWAT rifle is so much better. Hell yeah. Let's get it. I think I need it. Big time. So that thing is definitely on the list. I'm gonna take the SWAT rifle for 400. Sure, we'll do it. Is there any other assault rifle? It's a revolver, the face blaster. It's pretty cool, but we got something already. It's frostbite. Ah, uh, actually, frostbite is good against humans, animals, and robots, and so on, and that thing... Human, animal, and mutants, not robots. That thing is good against robots, vehicles, and synths. Has a crazy amount of penetration, but the frostbite as well. I'll keep frostbite. It's better. It's a higher base damage. Even with the 30% reduction, it's better than this here. That's a f that's fine. That's okay. Argon Lance, no. Photon Turner, no. There's another Auto Volva, but it's the same thing we got already. Spaz, no. Red Dragon. I mean, that is damage. I mean, yeah, the further we go down, the better it gets, I think. <laughs> All right. I think I want the Red Dragon. I mean, look at that difference. It's 100 to 139. 
We cannot use it though. Not yet. We need plus one in sniper rifles. Ah. Alright, fair enough. Mm, enforcer. Still, the problem is the 45 ammo. And black is still better. But only because it shoots more often. The penetration on this body is higher. Um, the base hit chance is the same. Yeah, at some point I, I might I might want to get the next tier of this kind of weapon. But not right now. That is a good weapon. I want it. So it shoots three times. It uses 5.56 ammo. Damage is way higher. I'll take it. So that's definitely a pickup. Mm, heavy machine gun. 7.62. That's also pretty amazing. Not the flamethrower, not the rocket launcher. That's a shock mace. Guys, what is going on here? Mason cannon. Weird science. That thing is a rocket launcher that fires energy cells. Interesting. We could technically use that, but this new neutron projector is just great. It requires seven in sniper rifles. Are we actually using that? Oh, huh, funny. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna pick up anything here in terms of the, the big guns. I think I'm just picking up... Mm, this here. That's definitely a thing I want. And, and then what else? I want to take a look at Kodiak. He has something like... A flare is better than a dental pick. Higher penetration, lower base hit chance, but also way more damage. What about that guy here? Believe it or not, these weapons were born out of a prank <laughs> that got out of hand. The Shock Maze, it's a blunt weapon, deals energy damage, lots of damage against vehicles and so on. I think I like the bladed weapon though, because that means we can hit more often. Because we just got a skill for it. So yeah, definitely. Okay, we'll buy the red dragon, and then we're gonna check it out. Give me one second. So, first of all, red dragon. That's a big upgrade. Look at that penetration! And we also get risky shot. Nice. We get a plus 70% critical chance, but negative 40% hit chance. That's amazing. You can really go for crit seeking with that thing, and I think we're gonna modify it directly. So, what I need is a... I don't need damage. I need a bigger magazine size. We will never reload that thing, ever. Right? Yeah. That's great. Do I want the higher crit on this guy? I think I will, yeah. Let's take it. And then we have a plasma linkage. I don't want it. Damage is not great here. Hmm. Even more penetration. And higher max damage. We have a higher weapon damage variation because of it. I don't know if I want that on this gun, but it's a great upgrade. And then we have this new assault rifle here, which is also amazing, guys. So, we'll definitely modify that weapon. Currently it's doing 21 to 26 damage. Might be worth taking this here. We can also upgrade the magazine size here, the clip size. I will do it. Yeah. And a higher crit chance. And then higher base damage, because that thing shoots... Actually, it shoots three times, which is not that great. We need something that shoots a lot, like often, to make this plus four damage um, be applied as often as possible. So I think it's not gonna go on this weapon. I'm actually taking this damage variation thing. 12 to 35. It could be really good, or it could be really bad. Yeah, let's do it. Let's mod that thing. Alright, pretty good. We're gonna keep our crossboom. That thing is also pretty amazing. And I think the last remaining points of... Uh, points of... Uh, the last remaining cash that we have, we're gonna invest into... Um, into ammunition. You're okay with black and jack. This is fine. You are also good. I mean, we have a negative critical chance, negative critical damage, and negative strike rate. But we can still use that thing. It's just that we are not even critting 
ever with the neutron projector, but it's a pretty good item anyway. Which means we're also gonna just drop the photon turner, we're gonna drop the laser pistol, winter warrior can go, battle rifle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, um, Mr. Quan. Mr. Quan is currently running a battle rifle and now we have two people who are running 556 ammo. I'd rather bring the waste rifle back and buy some spikes so we have enough ammo for everything. You know, that's fine. Okie dokie. But everything else can just go. And I do believe I'm selling all of this as well. Cool! Hi, Hello we are back! Again, strangers. Certainly. This will upgrade our combat efficiency so much, guys. So, get rid of the battle rifle, get rid of Winter Warrior, all of that. Will we ever go back to a shotgun? We might, actually. Uh, this marksman rifle can go. And I want to have a rocket launcher, and I want to have a flamethrower all the time, and why not the nitro thrower? Would we keep it? Nah, yes, no. Mm, I don't know. It's good damage. Let's sell that. Yeah, all of this can go. Don't need it. Okay. So, let's talk about ammunition. We need a lot of it. And I'm starting with 45 ammo. So, give me actually 100 shots. Give me more than that. Great. So, 5.56. Five, sure. Give me like that. I don't want to run out of ammo ever. Hmm... Where's the other thing? There we go. We're gonna probably buy out all the spikes here. 762... We don't need so many 762. 200 shots each. This is kind of my, my benchmark that I want to reach. Also, why not some more bolts? 45 bolts. Some sniper ammo. Oh, and energy cells. We need all of them. Let me get a hundred energy cells and then I think we are good. Something like this. Oh man, feels good, feels comfortable again. That's amazing. Cool, cool, cool. So, we have... That's a confetti grenade, we don't need that. Mm, what else do we have? We have some drugs. I'll sell all of them but one. Just in case we find a wanderer in the wastelands who wants a specific item. And then there was uh, a consideration of this layer weapon. It is an actually pretty good item. I mean, it deals way more damage. 62 to 85 is just way more. Step, by the way. That requires brawling. It's cool. It's a saw blade cestus. <laughs> really cool. So anything that uses energy cells is not cool. Do I want the shock mace? I think it's high penetration. I guess I don't. I'm gonna buy the flare. Is it worth 500? Is the upgrade worth it? Might be. I think it will be. I'll buy it. Okie dokie. So, there you go. Got a nice new knife. And we are good to go, guys. Or are we? No, wait. Um, One more thing. Brand needs to be ripped. Yeah, brand needs to be replaced with something else. Hello again, strangers. Me. Certainly. There we go. So, Bren wants to be something like... A light squat weapon, heavy machine gun. Let me check it out. That's 12 to 16 times 9. That is 19 to 26 times 9. And we can shoot center mass with that. It's good. There was another heavy machine gun somewhere. Wait a sec. I cannot find it anymore. I'm blind. Maybe it was this one, the army machine gun, but that takes uh, 0.50 ammo. I don't want that. So... Sure. Alright. We're out of money. But I think we got some great upgrades done here. Cool. You get the med hypo, you got the grenades. Yeah, he's gonna be the one that's throwing the frag grenades around all the time. Everyone else, you know, just use Molotovs. 
Sure, we have so many. Might as well use them. And I think... Uh, that's weird science. Shall I use shrink grenades? Sure, why not? And then we have something like EMP grenades as well. That's alright. Oh, I need. I actually want more turrets. Can we buy some more turrets from you? Thank you. Let's Hello see. One more thing, strangers. guys, before we go. Certainly. I need to do the shopping here. Sixty-nine for a single machine gun turret. 116 for that laser turret, which was amazing, by the way. Sound suppressor, higher penetration, more sneak attack damage. No, that's fine. Mm. What can we get rid of? Is there anything? I can probably get rid of these plasma capsules. Great, so we can afford three of them. It's good enough. So, so a bit of maintenance here, but I think again it is super important. Let me go back to Kodiak. This guy shoots nine times. We're gonna modify the weapon with a better barrel because now we shoot nine times plus four, and that's amazing. Yep, 23 to 30. Let's go, guys, let's go. And I think at this point we are actually ready to. Talk to the people. Have you ever loved something so deeply that it gouges loose all the fears you might have possessed? If so, you would know what these scars are. Benediction. Sanctification. All right, interesting. Be careful. Mm. It's an unkind world. Also, we can probably add a... Uh, ah, we don't have a weight here. Oh, wait, we have a weight. Plus four damage. Okay, let's put it on there. And then we have a higher hit chance by adding this handle. That's cool, 90% hit chance. Yeah, make it better. 68 to 91 damage on the flare, and we can hit him so often. Very good, very good. I want to talk to more people here. <laughs> hey, Jonesy, who are you? Hot noodles! As you approach, this man's eyes fit over every member of your team, as if assessing whether or not you are a direct threat. He relaxes after a moment and touches the brim of his head with a slight nod. Howdy, ma'am. Howdy. She oh, he nods to Lucia. Howdy. Always good to see a Wesson. He turns to you, nodding again. Hey, nice outfit. Are you a gipper? <laughs> I can see why you think so, but no. I share an impeccable sense of style with him, perhaps? But definitely not the worship of a mythical god being. Do you have anything for sale? Just my services as a caravan master. I organize caravans to get people, goods, and livestock from one place to another. But I don't sell goods myself. These lands near Colorado Springs are pretty safe. But still lots of people need help getting around. Especially if you want to range further than that. Cool. We could use your help. There's a group of refugees outside that need transport to Colorado Springs. Not my usual line of business, but I don't see why not. My normal rates would apply for a one-way transport. $300, which we don't have right now, but we can kiss ass or barter. Jones, these aren't just goods we are talking about. These people are starving. Surely you can take them for free. Okay, okay, I hear you. No need to make a man feel bad about trying to earn a living. All right, I'll make sure they're in my next caravan run to Colorado Springs. I'll send people to check on them now. Cool. Thanks to the Patriarch, this stretch of land from Denver in the north to Steeltown in the south is pretty safe to travel. You'll find richer opportunities the further you venture out, but it'll also come with more risks. I could tell you more, but truth be told, the only way to know the land is to travel it. You look well equipped and competent. Just head out and see what you can learn. So long. Cool, so we got that done. That's nice. What, what are you doing here, Noodle Man? Hot Let me talk noodles. to you real quick. Yeah, yeah. Give me some noodles. The man before you is moving so fast, he is nearly a blur <laughs> as he dashes from pot to pot on his stuffs, stirring one, tasting another. As you approach, he stops his cooking to turn his undivided attention to you. Hello, hello there, my friends. 
My name is Masato, and let me tell you, your taste buds will remember the day you met me. Here, have you ever seen anything this delicious? He holds a steaming hot bowl in front of you, filled with the brim, to the brim, with some kind of noodles. That looks amazing, may we? Yes, yes, be my guest. After enjoying this bowl, know that my store is open to you. I have a variety of goods that you may find useful. He hands you the bowl, which turns out to be a mix of noodles and pork, which is filling and quite delicious. He watches you eat it with a uh, hopeful grin. A man who never eats pork is never a whole man. But I have to tell you, my friends, these noodles are a pale imitation of the real thing. The great pre-war delicacy. The rarest of rare magics. Instant ramen noodles. I hope one day I will perfect my recipe to recreate them. But enough about me. How can I be of service? We got the noodles already. You looking for instant ramen noodles? Ah, you picked up on my subtle hints. <laughs> Years ago, a friend in Colorado Springs gave me a package of instant ramen noodles that he had found in the Warrens underneath the bazaar. The experience changed my life forever, and I moved here in hopes of finding more. The cook starts to fidget to spare painting his face as he loses his uh, usual buoyant uh, composure. The Warrens aren't safe. I can't venture down there. But you must understand. It is as if my body is made of ramen. If you go down in the Warrens, please keep your eyes open for this rare delicacy. Yeah, the ramen noodles. Yes. Yeah. Yes! My friend, you don't know what this means to me. You have altered the course of human gastronomical history. Here, a small measure of my no, gratitude. Nice money. All right, a uh, ranger HQ could use a chef like you. Oh, how interesting. You mean a permanent position? Yeah. A full kitchen of my own? Of course. M my friends, that is quite the offer you're making me. Thanks to you, I've accomplished my goal here. So I am more than ready for my next adventure. Let me pack up my supplies here, and I'll see you at your HQ. Nice! We have a cook now. Ramen noodles all day. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, um, can we see your wares? Naturally. Sure. My store is always open to you, That's what friends. I expected. Just a bit of, you know, healing stuff. And drugs as well. Interesting. Uh, do we want some small constitution buffs? For just four dollars? Need to restore 100% con and gain one action point for 90 turns? That is insanely good. Chips are high. Nope. Uh, Beatloff. Beatloff is actually quite cheap, actually. Actually, actually. Eat to restore 100% con and gain one action point? That is amazing. That's also just 30... Oh, wait. Yeah, 37. Everything is 37. Oh. Oh, I was reading that wrong. So it's not that super cheap. It is an okay price for our, what it does. I like to be stocked up on stuff. That's good. So we now have 8 things that heal us to full. This one as well. So we have 10 things that heal us to full and give one extra point. And then there are 7 more toasts. So we have 17 things that heal us to full. Um, sweet smelling mushroom. Try and see. Um, About half a mushroom found in the ranger HQ break. It has a, a syrupy sweet smell. Could be harmless, could be toxic. I need to check it out. Hey, Stone Crow. Actually, uh... Yeah, it's a shadow cat. He's dying. <laughs> Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Anybody else here? Hot noodles. Hey, bartender Finn. Hey, what about pals? you? Finn is the name. If you need a drink, you've come to the right place. If you got questions, well, I suppose that's okay too. Yeah, it's also Long John. We're gonna talk to him as well. He seems like he has no legs anymore and they are kind of artificial. He, all of him is artificial, maybe. What can you tell us about the place? Not much. I'm pretty new. Just started a week ago. Rumor has it the old bartender mysteriously vanished into thin air. Anyway, this place is something for everyone. Guns, armor, food, meds, entertainment, and most importantly, booze! If you're here to work for Flab, then he might be able to tell you more. 
One thing's for sure. There's something weird going on here. Yeah, and we have to tell Arctic to flat because we have, we have already dealt with the clowns in the basement. Something weird. Ah, uh, I don't know. I suppose everyone's on edge, you know? They're all putting on brave faces like things are normal, but I can tell something is wrong. Just don't know quite what. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Come back anytime. Yes. Where the hell is Flab? Where would I find him? That was the dog? That was the... Oh, wait. Upstairs, right? That's where the bosses are sitting all the time. Honor guests, come! Speak with Flab. That's Flab? Wait, what a nice living room you have. <laughs> the torturing section next to the playground. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Children of the night. Oh yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Is he a vampire? He, he pretends to be a vampire? Maybe he is one. Corpulent man standing before you spits out a set of fake Dracula teeth and wipes his mouth. Let's never mind with the acts, shall we? You are the Brangers, yes? Welcome to the bazaar, where my hospitality is law. You do not find us at the best of times. What's with the Dracula act? Do not judge harshly, my friends. We hold on to our rituals of the past to try to remember our long lost strength. It may strike you as pathetic, but it gives us much needed comfort. All right, what do you mean? Not in the best of times? You have not noticed? I am surprised, but nonetheless, we have been under assault, my friends. Something, someone, some horrible unknown thing is roaming the warrens below us. People have been disappearing, not to mention the pigs loaded with explosives running amok. You are the Patriarch's Rangers, yes? He trusts you, so can I. Nothing we've done has helped, so your arrival could not be more fortuitous. We need your help to combat this threat. It's so cool that we get $666 for it. How long has this been going on? Down below us? Yeah, we found some crazy clowns down there. We wiped them all out already. <gasps> I'm impressed by your initiative. Clowns, you say? This could only have been Los Payasos. They are monsters without conscience, with no respect for human life or dignity. Friends, the bazaar is indebted to you. All our stores are open to you at a discount. And here, take this as a token of my thanks. Damn it. Now we got the 20% bonus on discount here. Uh. Well then, ordering guys, ordering. So what did we get? Just the money or something else because I wasn't looking? No, it was just the money. Oh man, anyway, let's talk to him again. I welcome you to my house. Make yourself comfortable. We'd like to know more about you. You ask too much of me, my friends. What is a leader but a servant of the community? My story is the bizarre story. I am nothing but a receptacle of its wishes. Hmm. Have you any thoughts on that nickname of yours? I appreciate the delicacy. Your compassion will be remembered. But no, I've no thoughts on the nickname they have given to me and no cause to think about it. Oh, Flab describes me well, does it not? I suppose so. Food! More 
Ghost would have lied to my face, told me that Flab the Inhaler was a blasphemy against my greatness. <laughs> but you, you have courage. I see a long friendship ahead of us. And the truth is that I see this fat as proof of my station in life. Here, in these wastelands, how many have the opportunity to eat and flourish as I have? That's true. Oh, you ended up here. <laughs> Where do I start? Once I was a humble lieutenant in the monster army. Then the Patriarch came to the bazaar. He executed my predecessor and everyone else was too stupid to understand that this is the new world order. When he came to me, I did not hesitate. I swore myself to his service marrow and muscle and the patriarch in his infinite grace gave me command of the bazaar and all of its lives cool 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 so he's kind of another child of the patriarch then not his real child but you know and i would be a bad host uh what about bazaar a uh, decadent oasis steep in culinary wonders. I was looking for more side quests here, by the way. Colorado's gastronomic holy land. It is a carnival of wonders. It is paradise. Ah, it was even more splendid once. A long time ago. Ah. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. I don't want to go all the way down the details, so let me quickly kind of click that and then I'm gonna go for you my friends be sure to check out our stores yeah, the it's sanctified just stores. The Goodbye. we'll be waiting <laughs> you look hurt mm. uh, dr. cold cuts will be happy to help how sneaky are you can I take that stay away from that safe yeah it's okay sure enough man sure enough so now that we have money again, and now that we have a discount, do we want to buy anything? Here. Hmm. I don't I think so. I it's Quarex. Oh wow! Are you Rangers? I haven't seen any of you guys since I left. Uh, I mean, in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen any Rangers in a while. In a while, huh? You're coming from Arizona. Uh, I'm Quarex, by the way. This is my cool museum of uh, coolness. Would you like a tour? Sure. Really? Yeah. Uh, okay. This way. Uh, okay, I'll start. Welcome to Quarex's Cabinet of Quariosities, a collection of the rarest of the... Well, it's toys and games mostly, and some mementos, but they're all really cool, I promise. That top hat belonged to Mr. Cynical from Angel Oracle out in L.A., a fellow game aficionado. He lived his life trying to help the little guy, defending them against bullies and end-level bosses. In the end, though, a boss got him, and, and, well, he didn't make it. I keep his hat around to remind me to be honest and decent like he was. All right, guys, what's the reference to that? Because I don't know. This was the best video game ever! <laughs> Wasteland 4! You can choose what color you want the screen to be, red or green! It's incredible, man! This is the most sought-after gaming accessory ever made! The legendary Mighty Mitt! Yeah. I love the Mighty Mitt! It's so bad! So cool, man! This is a genuine megascope! The most advanced optical aiming device of its day. A priceless artifact. Shame somebody stuck it on that silly old ray gun, but I'm not going to try to take it off. I might break it. Interesting. Ooh. This is a Tarjan the Tenebrous machine. It can tell your fortune, but you get a premium fortune if you have some special tokens. Yeah, we have some. Wish I had some. We have some! We can use them! This throne was once the most coveted object in the wasteland! 
The rule was whoever sat on it was the king. King of what exactly? I don't know. I also don't know who made that rule. Was it a Wasteland 2 reference? All right. This is a slicer dicer, the scariest robot ever. It slices, it dices, it even makes julienne fries. Whatever those are, if this thing was working, we'd all be dead by now. Storage These key. These are the most classic of classic arcade games. Avenue Brawlers, Cap Boy, and Star Intruder. <laughs> Star Intruder? Uh-huh. This is a surfboard. I don't know what surf is and what boards have to do with it, but this looks well loved. It has property of MF on it. I hope that doesn't mean what I think it does. MF. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, I'll come back to you in a sec. I found a dream vacuum. All right, as well as uh, Korax tape. Let's see. Tell your ride today. Found a guy there who sold me some rat jerky. There's a caravan heading for Boulder, and I'm going to try to tag along. Colorado's cold and kind of scary, but there's treasure here too. That guy with the rat jerky, he had like six or seven 3DO cartridges just lying around a shack. When I asked him how much for the set, he looked at me like I was crazy. Practically gave them away. You know what? Leaving Arizona might be the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, it was coming from Arizona. Also, we have uh, the provost. He's kind of following us around now. Let's take a look around. So he is uh, Hatman? No, wait, what's Capman? Not Pacman. It's Capman. Eat your way through the maze, but don't get caught by the poltergeists. Defend the Earth against aliens and space debris. Was that Star Invader? No, I don't know. And this one here is the famous arcade game where you clean up the streets with your fists. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see what we can do with the nicer dice here. The robot slums in place, eaten by rust, almost lifeless, save for the faint pinpoint glow of its pupils. Try to fix the robot. Uh oh. Slicer dice self assembler, item gained. For a moment, the, ma the machine comes to a mockery of staggering life, hissing rusted pythons, no, pistons, creaking within its carapace. Then it sags back on its pedestal, clearly beyond salvaging. However, it did shift slightly, allowing you a closer look at its parts. Learn what you can from the carapace. An inscription on the back of the robot reveals its serial number on the place of origin. This slicer dicer came all the way from Arizona. You find some words scratched into the robot's chassis. Probably, uh, possibly one of the... of its own blades. Coach Eyes is dead. I am free. Also, again, a reference to Wasteland 2, I believe. Let's inspect the legs. The limbs are madness of gunshot wounds and blunt trauma, evidence perhaps of encounters with raiders or whatever else haunts the wastelands. Hey, you functional? It clacks in a reply, an uneven staccato noise, its head twitching like a clockwork bird that has forgotten the trick of realism. A hiss of black smoke unravels from the paneling of its throat. We're gonna kick him. The machine scissors forward as at a blow. Sudden and savage, shoulders rolling. Somewhere in the circuitry of its brain, it probably still believes it has arms and blades. Okay. Hey, we got some new stuff. Alright, that's junk. Where is that thing? Did we not get an item? Am I blind? There it is. So, requires mechanic 7. Deploys a robotic slicer dicer follower that will assist in combat. Self-destructs after combat has ended. So yeah. But hey. Cannot yet use it. We need more mechanics. Alright, that's cool. Also, what are we doing with these tokens? And can we take this ray gun? Let me see. The display case contains an energy weapon that has been fitted with a highly sophisticated pre-war scope. It looks masterfully crafted and carefully maintained. Can we steal it? I don't know. We're gonna inspect it. A small plaque inside the case reads Zap Pow! Accurate to a single pixel. You will never miss when using Megascope. Glass case does not appear to be locked. I don't know if we should steal here. Why would we use that ray gun? It's probably watching anyway. 
Let me take a look around first, though. The Mighty Mid used in high-tech sensors to give ultra-dimensional control to those brave enough to enter the virtual world. Let me drop a token in here. Inside his glass confinement, Tarjan bears his rictus grin on the world, an eye cracked, the other throbbing like a flesh wound. <laughs> There's a conspicuous red button. Beside it are the words, press here to receive fortune. We're gonna press the button first and then we're gonna insert a token. Tarjan remains stoic as you hear a shrill grinding sound. A tiny strip of paper stamped with irregular writing emerges from a slot. The meek shall inherit the earth. No man shall be saved, no woman, no child. Even the humblest worm will be with teeth and thunder. Cool, nice fortune. Let's insert a token. Tarjan doesn't move, but something about him feels more alive. You feel a tingle on the back as your neck starts... Uh, as a next... wait. You feel a tingle on the back of your neck as a note emerges from the slot below its torso, inscribed with a ca calligraphic lettering. Perk learned. Precognition. Haste makes Jack a dull boy. Never to roll down the hill. We got a new perk? Evasion plus 10%. That is so good. Alright, wait. We, we have more tokens, right? We have two more tokens. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna give Shadow Cat another go. Can we get some more evasion out of this? Or is this gonna be another perk that we will learn? Cunning of Tarjan. Be as wise as Solomon and you'll have half a baby to show for it. Let me check it out. What did we get? What? No, wait. There we go. The Cunning of Tarjan. Experience bonus of 25%. Oh my god, also there's... Yeah, 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 yeah. There's uh, a timer attached to it. All right, you again. Hi. Once more. Perk learned. Fortune cookie. Cream cheese wontons were invented in San Francisco circa 1956. Haha. <laughs> Wonton. Great. So what is that perk? Constitution plus 15. Honestly, that's pretty good on Stormcrow. Yep. So what are we doing with, with the experience bonus? Are we leaving now? Now we're not. The VR device is a bulky, cumbersome conglomeration of thick wires and dented shapes. Put on the headset. The helmet doesn't fit quite right. It slopes and slouches across your face, putting the alignment of your nose at risk. Text starts scrolling across the darkness, banning your eyes. Select. Oh my god. Command. The camera blinks into a room filled with high-tech equipment. Every single screen reads, A strange game, in blinking letters. Figures move in the shadows, turning towards you. One by one, the screen changed to Error, error, you are an unauthorized user. An alarm blares and the feed cuts out. Okay. Let's read the error log real quick. Dear user, please be informed this VR headset is designed to be used only with the Cheyenne Mountain Complex. In the Cheyenne Mountain Complex. Usage outside of Cheyenne Mountain Complex will activate security measures that may show up as content glitches. Entrance, the screen wavers, then blinks, error, error, you're an unauthorized user. Okay. Okay, interesting. I think we destroyed it. <laughs> What's the computer? Man, there's so much to discover here. A lovingly rendered scene of the Scottish Highland flickers in the 16 pixelated colors on the screen of this computer. A polyphonic chorus of beeps swarms into a Gaelic tune as you read the title of the game. The Bard's Tale 4, Barrow's Deep. Play the game using Tips and Tricks book? <gasps> we have the Tips and Tricks book. Referring to the strategy guide, you find hidden passages and secret solutions, defeat unsurmountable energy, uh, enemies, and drink copious amounts of ale. Finally, you defeat the final boss and the game displays a celebratory message. Thank you for playing The Bard's Tale 4, Barrow's Deep. Your exclusive reward will soon be delivered. Nicely done, Rangers. I never got all the way through that one. Yeah, nice. Can I have your thing there, please? Hi, Rangers. Good to see you again. Let's talk. Uh, sure. 
I, I want that thing. But hey, let's talk about Arizona real quick. Didn't you live with the Topicans in Arizona? You must be thinking about someone else. Quarex is a more common name than you might think, you know. Anyway, not me. Nope. You were sweating a lot. Oh, well, haven't you heard? Scientists say sweating is a sign of truthfulness. I... Uh... Okay, fine. I'm Quarex from Rail Nomads. Happy now? Kinda cool you guys have heard of me. Nobody knows about me. Um, why did you come to Colorado? Well, basically, everything went downhill after Ranger Team Echo found that 3DO for me. Some shady guys started coming around asking me to sell it to them. And when I said no, well, they didn't like that at all. I was going to call the Rangers since you'd all been so nice to me. But then Ranger Citadel blew up, so I left. Had to leave all my cool stuff behind, even the 3DO. But there's lots of cool stuff around here, too, and I've been finding it. And that's how I started my museum. Okay, if you're on the run for some shady characters, why didn't you change your name? Oh, I did. I just always forgot to say it. <laughs> I'm supposed to say my name's Dave, but yeah. Yeah. All right, talk Bye, to you Rangers. later. Thanks for visiting me. So, first things first. We need to upgrade Quan and then we're gonna steal the stuff because we have sneaky shit galore on him. Let's go. Um, I mean, he has a pretty good chunk of strength. Actually, I should really check out if I can get better armor on him. But anyway, let's go for more coordination because he is desperately lacking action points. So, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade sneaky shit. Let's do it. And then we have perks. And this perk. Hmm, if you move more than move more than five paces, your next submachine gun attack has no AP. If you attack a target twice in a row with an assault rifle, the second is always a critical hit. I should really make use of that a bit more. Hmm, remembering all of that is not easy. And I think sneak attack damage plus two hundred percent. That's cool. We can get there. We have a book. Actually, let's read the book. So this increases hard ass. All right, interesting. Now I'm gonna read that. Sneaky shit. Do we want the sneak attack damage? If you can get close before they see you, it's over. It's a plus two hundred percent. Oh my god! Yeah, we can initiate with him quite a lot, and then if we use a second attack directly afterwards, is also critical. Yeah, let's go. Let's take it. So, on top of that... Stormcrow? Shadowcat, actually? All of these names are kind of weird, but okay. I want you to get some more... What? Speed? We just upgrade speed for evasion? Let's max that out first. Sure, why not? Cool, cool, cool. Four action points. Upgrading that to six costs us so much. But I want to get there at some point. I think the next upgrade is gonna just be... Honestly, Animal Whisperer. Let's go. Cool, cool, cool. Great. So, I want Quan. Take it. Carefully lift the glass and take the weapon. Mega scope. What is that thing? There it is. So, Megascope is a sniper rifle that uses energy cells and that has a plus 100 base hit chance. So, if we compare that to what we have here, I think... Oh, the damage is pretty low, though. It takes only four action points to use, though. And that alone is pretty good. Hmm. It's a bit of a lower range. But we have a 24% critical chance. I think I want to test that thing out. Seriously. I think I really want that. Oh, wrong weapon. Let's check it out, guys. The thing has an amazing base hit chance. The crit damage multiplier is 2.3. Uh, and we have a 24% hit chance on criticals here. So, yeah. Let's see, let's try. Mega skull! We have it in the house. Cool, cool, cool. So, what's next? Um, 
Um, so we played the Bard's Tale. One thing that I want to try. Um, nerd stuff. We need you here. Put on the headset. Can we do something? Nah, we cannot. Okay, that's fine. So we have one more guy to talk to. Surfboards. We cannot do anything there. No, it's fine. Uh, there was one more guy here. Should I get a key? That was Long John. Hey, Long John. What's your story? Who are you? For all that it might be swaddled in dirty, mismatched fabric, this figure is clearly anything but human. At your approach, it straightens with a creak of rusted gears and presses a palm to the Nixon mask over his face. Oh. As I live and eat cherry pie, more of my fellow humans in the bazaar. You make yourself welcome now, you hear? He scratches behind his mask's plastic ear, his shirt shifts to reveal a coil device in his chest, an impressive looking piece of tech. Fellow humans? We can tell... Wait, what can you tell us about the people in the bazaar now? Si why are you trying to pretend you're not a synth? Me? A synth? Aren't you adorable? I'm meat and muscle, just like you, Rangers. Shucks, I even have dreams all the time. Technicolor dreams about flying and standing naked in front of people I don't quite know. Synths don't do that. You still think you're a synth? Oh, let's quickly talk about yourself. Well, gosh, and apple pies, you put me in a spot. Let's see. My name is Long John, and I'm old as dirt. I've traveled a little, but nowhere interesting. Now I'm here in the bazaar, just to see what life has to offer. Make friends. Was it something that I got to do when I was younger, what with my job and all? There was no time to make friends, none at all. But I'm making up for it. I know everyone in the bazaar, and they know me. Good to know. What can you tell us about the people here? Some of it is real private, and some of it probably should be. But you young whippersnappers tell everyone everything. He taps the side of his bulbous plastic nose. Like Paradolia Jones? He's probably the best damn caravan master in the bazaar. But his business would be better if he knew how to keep his mouth shut. Between you and me, if I was afraid of ducks, I wouldn't tell a soul. Oh, and we have that rubber duck that we could have used to just intimidate him, I guess. Nice, interesting. Uh, I, we still think you're a synth. I'm not a synth. Well, just last night I had the most human dream. I was back in high school. There was a trigonometry test. I sat down confident and brash, only to realize I completely forgot to study. I also enjoy toasted eggs in the morning. A very human thing. Okay. <laughs> Will we continue doing that? I'm gonna see if he can t tell me about other people here. One sec. Oh, you clever whippersnappers are trying to fish some secrets out of old Long John. No, no, not today. Got it. Tell us about your travels, please. I'll tell you youngins what I can. Despite the fact I'm old as the mountains, figuratively speaking, that is. Humans rarely live past 70, and I'm just about ready to expire. <laughs> I don't know everything, you hear? Even though I've walked all the way from Denver to Steel Town and back again. Okay. Do you have any stories about Colorado Springs? I think we can really get some info out of that guy. Colorado Springs? That's an alright place. A little uptight, but that's what you get from having all of the hundred families there. I like the scientists and engineers, though. Real clever kids. Um, what can you tell us about Steel Town? Steel Town? That place is an industrial nightmare. Raging fires all around. Melts right through the st 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 skin. Gives me the shivers, you hear? <laughs> All right, have you been to the plains? No, -uh. place like that ain't fit for the lonely traveler. 
Well, you might be all right. If you do decide to go in that direction, I've heard that it's gotten real dangerous. I'd stay away from the city. It's nothing but a corpse these days in the Gipper's well. They're not a bad lot, per se, but I'd be careful around them. If you have to spend some time, I'd personally visit the airport instead. The young'uns there are wonderful. <laughs> the young'uns there, yeah, yeah, I know, man. Okay, okay, okay. Let's talk about something else. I think we are done here, right? These days in your limited attention All right, so we're gonna insult him a bit more. Let's see what he's doing. You know, everyone can tell it's a mask, right? Look, we can see th strings. Oh, you kids in your humor. If the folk in the bazaar really thought I was a synth, wouldn't they have tried to decommission me? Not that I'm afraid of such things. Being the perfectly ordinary human male that I am. <laughs> he hesitates. All right, fine. I am a synth, but you can't tell anyone. But everyone in the bazaar already knows. Do they? Well, I'm not sure I believe that. If they knew, wouldn't they have melted me down to scrap by now? People don't like sense, as far as I've seen. You're clever ones, and bully to you for figuring out who I am. But let's not talk about it again, okay? The topic puts me on edge. Okay. So soon? I suppose you best of luck to you. Okay, okay, okay. So, there's a container, and I think we're kind of maybe done with getting all of these guys here. Nord is a fraud, okay. Oh, there's some vending machines as well. Oh. Oh, Ooh, wait. It stops when you go for the vending machine? Oh, no. But hey, we got some bison bits. A bit of constitution. Nice. The other vending machine. Gives us some um, chips a high. Pretty good. Who's Randy? Hey, Randy. Young red-headed man is decked out with tools ready for work. Oh, we need a mechanic. He turns to you, not pausing his fear fervent chewing. Hey, strangers. Randy's the name. Automobiles are the game. Flab's master mechanic, they call me. How can I help? Hey, you like working here? I got a better job opportunity right over at our Ranger HQ. Not particularly. It's boring work. I only get pulled in if something breaks that a tender can't fix, so I spend most of my time just waiting here. Like I'm doing now. But beggars can't be choosers. Would you be interested in a job as a mechanic at a Ranger HQ? No offense, but you're a gamble in a hard luck casino. Don't like working in the bazaar, but it's constant money, and I need that right now. See? Some months ago, my dad wrote me that he thought he'd seen folks skulking around our homestead. I dismissed it. Our place has always been isolated and safe. Stupid. Turns out it was a small band of one of them crazy planes gangs. Oopsie. I think your parents are dead now. He sent me a letter. My parents are dead, and they're holding my kid brother and sister hostage. I ain't even close to having enough money to pay the ransom. Even if I did, I suspect they'd just kill us all after I pay. So what's a guy to do? Yeah, we could pay the kidnappers, or we could get your family. Sure. I'm not one to condone violence, but I've heard of what you folks have been doing all across Colorado. Whatever you think is needed. Progressively more intense chewing. So, trying uh, to get his Let me family. Show you where to find our old homestead. I'll meet you there. You help out the Get family, and I'll work for you. No doubt about it. See you there. It don't take too long, okay? Yeah, let's go, guys. Let's go. So, can we get out of this here? It gets us to the basement, correct? This is where we were coming from. Yep, it very much looks like it. How do I get out of here the normal way? This way. But first of all, one more Done. quick check. Sanctified with blood. I mean, I can... Blood. Now, who are these beauties in my theater? Come. Come to Adelon. All right, we're going to talk to Adelon and then we go. You know, you haven't yeah. Yeah.
This woman is shocking purple hair and ridiculously voluptuous form makes her stand out from the average wastelander. She looks like she's dropped in from a different time and place. Hey there, Eidolon. You look better every time I see you. How's show business? Ah, Marshal Kwan. As charming as ever. And you brought your most beautiful friends to Eidolon's Chick Slicks Theater, I see. Aren't you all a sight for sore eyes, honey lips? Yeah. Tell us about the theater. The Chicks Flicks is the bazaar's finest emporium of top shelf theatrical performances. I can see that. Ah, sugar plums. Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, I'm so happy you walked into mine. You look like strapping, helpful hunks. Wouldn't you love to help out our little Adelon? Sure, what can we do? Oh, my heroes. So here's the rub. The Chicks Flicks theater shows only the finest, most exclusive performances. But we are running low on material. I'd ask if you were volunteering to be my next star. But we all know I couldn't afford your gorgeous asses. I suppose the next best thing would be getting me some fresh material. Oh, I could bring the refugees, I think. There's pay involved, right? Where would we get fresh material? I know where to find some old movie reels. Oh, oh, interesting. We've got good tech in here. So between some creative editing and a little bit of improvisation, I can produce our next masterpiece. Where? Where to find? So it's easy as a slice of apple pie. The monster army used to live in a pre-war luxury bunker. Apparently their monster outfits were inspired by the movies they watched in there. The bunker has been abandoned for years and years. So it should be simple. And hey, I know any resistance you meet won't be a problem for such beautiful and powerful people. Good luck out there, sweeties. Okay. Thank I'll you. Be back again soon. Yeah, Those I'll be back. So let's see if we can find this homestead that the guy was talking about. Sanctified with blood. Blood sanctified by guns. So let's get out of here. <laughs> I want to get into trouble again. I want to test my new weapons and I want to bring the war pig out. The war hog. Cool, cool, cool. Man, that was, that was quite an intense uh, talking episode today so far. So let's see if we can get into a little bit more trouble. Especially, I want to see if I can sneak attack and then double crit people. That should technically work. Because, again, if I'm using an automatic rifle um, and I shoot it a second time in a row, then it's an auto crit, which is gonna be great. That's the new skill, the quite old perk that I got on Quan. Uh, at the same time, when we're out of combat and then getting into combat, is there a break in between or does it count still? I don't know. What I do know is that I need to get out of here. One more thing before we go. I quickly want to talk to this guy who introduced us here. I want to tell him that, hey, we got a, we got in. We're part of the Cool Kids Club now. Hi. Felicitations. Da -da -da -da. We found a cabinet of crazy clown bandits not far from here. We have aided the people of the bazaar. Are you ready to join us? So I heard. You have shown both grace and charity. It will be my honor to work for your organization. Yeah. Just give me some time to gather my things and I will see you there. Cool, cool, cool. So we have a tailor now. Ba bam The Provost is just following us. <laughs> so good. Yes, I'm ready to leave the bazaar. That is a pretty cool place. So where's the homestead? The guy didn't really tell us where we should look for. It's probably outside of the bazaar. So we, we have to kind of find it first. Also, there might be something as in a random encounter on the way. I'm very much looking forward to just cruising around the outside a bit. And I mean, as soon as we got the mechanic, I think we can start modding our vehicle, which is 
kind of important because we also want to be able to move through the radiation fields and basically uncover everything there. So. Hey, November. Come in. Keep Ranger November. Command. This is HQ. We, got a, we finally Delivery got a signal through to Arizona. No one saw it come in, but there's spotty, a break, but we got word from General from Wade Scarra Woodson. Bray, we'd like to speak sitting in the courtyard. Wait, what? That was a lot at the same time. Great job, Gonzalez. We'll be back for that call. Thanks, November. Amazing what you can do with a bit of tape and a lot of ingenuity. See you soon. Over and out. I have no idea what he was talking about, but okay. Let me take a look around. Monster Army Bunker. That's the Cat Family Homestead. We're gonna go there. So, we're gonna go up... This direction. Are we, are we on the right spot? Oh, it's the same spot. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Man, this Kodiak is slow. And I really hope that I can use my Kodiak as well. Not my, my Kodiak fighter, but also the tank. It's a pretty big homestead as well. So, here we are. Alright. Man, it seems like a... Kind of a, like a like a refinery or kind of... Some kind of facility here. Pretty big thing that you got there. So, the Razorback is a mutated wolverine that has porcupine-like quills along its back. I'm also very happy that I got the, the Animal Whisperer skill. These things are really helpful. And you can find animals everywhere, literally. That means that you just, you know, if you lose an animal, you just get a new one in the next area. So that's cool. Hey, Randy. You made it. Thanks for helping out the old Gap family. Homestead is right up the road. Ah, Razorbacks. Of course. This man's been torn apart. Oh, look. Wolverine tracks. All right, all right, all right. So I want to see if I can do it. Sneak attack, and then we will follow up from that point on. And I hope it's gonna be a critical. It has to be the same target though. So let's go. Nah, it was a critical, but it wasn't that big of a deal. Mm, okay. Wait, that's always a puncturing shot? <gasps> okay. That megascope is amazing. These guys are hard to hit. We just used the megascope. I think I'm just gonna use the megascope here, guys. <laughs> Alright. So. I wanna use three action points, which is here. Means I can shoot twice. Look at that! Don't get all of them though. Zap! And again. Zap! That's one down. Perfect. Yo, Kodiak, show me your new gun. 38. 28. Yet again, these guys are hard to hit. Um, sure. Oh, this thing takes seven action points to actually shoot. So far, so good. We're gonna keep some action points for later. Yeah, action action economy is so important here. So, two action points to get here. Yep, nice shot. Damn! Good job! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, in here up front. Crouch. Overwatch. Because we cannot really do anything else anymore. Alright. And again. <laughs> almost. Almost got him. Yeah, the poison is gonna be a little bit of a problem there, I gotta say. Not too happy about it. Get him, pig! Good job, pig! 
All right, so next up Let me take Lucia. Let me take this gun Good shot another one not enough AP crap um, Juan What about you buddy? 65% Okay, we'll see ya We really gotta get close, but I think it's the only way to really get it done here These little bastards um, Yeah, I'll take I'll take you Cool, so far so good that was an easy fight and the poison is gonna linger a little bit, but that's fine see what we can find here. Shotgun shells. Interesting. Oh, that was on the body. Ugh. Pheromone sack. Alrighty, guys. Great. So, that was the entrance in this area. And I think I have to make a cut here because sadly I have to pick up my son from the kindergarten and I cannot record any further. But I, I'd say we are 1 hour and 20 minutes into the game into today's episode and I think that's a good good um, cliffhanger for the next episode we're gonna continue where we stop now and I hope you enjoyed this episode if you did don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I hope to see you guys next time goodbye